Earth because you thought you'd need to be super rich to be able to afford one. Well, technically that's not true. There are some private islands out there that can be bought for very cheap. As long as you don't mind putting up with, let's say, a few inconveniences that most other people are not prepared to deal with. This video is all about those islands that no one wants to buy for any price. And okay, a few are quite expensive, but they're a lot cheaper than what they should be and for very good reasons. These range from a paradise island that will give you a plot of land totally free, but it comes with a few sacrifices, to another that no one's willing to buy because over 50 people were massacred there. So yeah, let's jump right in and take a look. Daxa Island, Croatia, also known as the Island of Ghosts. Daxa Island is in the Adriatic Sea and it's close to the Brovnik, and it's been up for sale for around 2 million euros for countless years. But no one has ever shown any interest in buying it, even though it's described as a paradise dream island. It has beautiful views, good all year round weather, a home already built on it that was used as an old monastery, a lighthouse, a fortress and easy access to local towns, and it's priced very considerably. So why is no one even remotely interested in buying it? Well the Island of Ghosts name probably gives you a little clue. If not, it's said to be a cursed and haunted island, because the island was the site of the Daxa massacre where 53 people were slaughtered, including the island's priests and the Dubrovnik mayor in 1944 during World War II. So what happened was, Yugoslav partisans liberated Dubrovnik from the Nazis and accused 300 citizens of being Nazi sympathizers. They gathered up 53 people, took them to Daxa Island and murdered them all without trial. And even now to this day, new bodies are constantly being discovered. So yeah, that's the reason no one will touch this island with a barge pole, and I honestly think they'd struggle to sell it for much less than half the price. But who knows? What about you guys? Would you live here even for free? If you want total isolation in paradise, then Palmyra Atoll is for you. It's an amazing 600 acre tropical island that's located 960 miles south of Hawaii, and it's only inhabited by flocks of birds, and it's surrounded by crystal clear lagoons and brightly colored fish. It features its very own harbour, four fuel tanks, a 6,000 foot private runway, a seaplane ramp, a 150 bed hospital and other buildings, and a pricey $100,000 water catchment system. But still, no one is willing to buy it. It's currently owned by a family who bought it in 1979, with the aim to set up a plantation, but it never worked out. So every so often they put it on the market for an undisclosed sum. And to be fair, they have been approached with a few offers to buy it, but they're all kind of strange, and none of them have followed through. Those offers have included a rocket launch site, a nudist and religious retreat, a nuclear waste dump and a sea mining centre. But for some reason, no one ever wants to fully commit to it. The only reason I can think of is the undisclosed sum part. Maybe they're pricing it way too high. Who knows? Pitcairn Island is a two mile wide British overseas territory and it's located in the southern Pacific Ocean and it's absolute paradise. And guess what? You can live here totally free. Nope, I'm not joking. You would not have to pay a single penny. Okay, maybe just the cost of your boat ticket. Surprisingly though, no one has taken up this promotion offered by the government to boost its population, even though it looks like a total dream to live there. But still, no one is willing to accept the free plot of land in this picturesque island and that's because of two reasons. First one is that the island's population was started by mutineers of a British ship in 1789, and the descendants that live there now were involved in a large child abuse scandal. Six were imprisoned of the less than 50 population, including the mayor. And I guess that makes people think, what the hell is going on on this island? That's a large chunk of the population behind bars. The second reason is because of the isolation. It relies on food deliveries every three miles from New Zealand, which is 3,000 miles away. And there's only one store on the island that's open three days a week. So I guess it would be a little bit of a disaster if the food delivery stopped. And they are the reasons no one wants to live on this island even for free. Little Rocky Island in Canada features hidden coves, untouched beaches and dense woodlands. And this would make an incredible retreat for anyone wanting the quiet life or to escape society or a possible zombie invasion. You could set up life here in a little cottage and escape it all for $74,000. But for some reason it hasn't sold for a while, and through looking I can't see any reason why. I think it could be because low tide exposes ground to the mainland, meaning it's technically not always an island. Or maybe it's because it's priced too high. Who knows? What could you buy with $40,000? Maybe a new car, some round the world trips, or a down payment on a house. Who knows, you could buy a lot of things. 
but what about a one acre private island with a little house slash shack on it? Yep, for 40k. Don't believe me? Well, it's true. That money would buy this island in Maine, United States, and you'd never have to worry about noisy neighbors ever again. But so far, no one has bought this island. That's because when the tide comes in, half of the island disappears, which means at times you're technically getting half the advertised space, which also means you could probably barter the owners down and get it for an even lower price. Fort Carroll, Baltimore, United States. You can buy your very own island with a fort on it for $31,500, which is insanely cheap. Some people spend that on a car. I know what I'd rather have, my own private fort on a private island for sure. Now Fort Carroll is a 3.4 acre island that was built in 1848 by the United States Army. It's an artificial island with a now abandoned hexagonal sea fort that was built to protect the city of Baltimore and its ports. It originally had 350 cannon ports, a blacksmith shop, carpentry shop and a caretaker's house. But in 1864 it was flooded by torrential rains and declared vulnerable. And rapid advances in military technology left this fort obsolete and it's just been sitting there decaying ever since. The government decided to sell it and people have tried to develop this site but nothing has ever come of it. This is for two reasons. One is that the island is a bird sanctuary and any building plans would have to make sure the birds are not harmed and their habitat wasn't disturbed. And the second reason is many developers have said building or developing on this site is pretty much impossible because of the location and design. But hey, if you want to live in a ridiculously cheap island with a fort then this is the place for you. Just know that you probably have to stay there in a tent or something because doing anything with it would be pretty near to impossible. And that brings this video to an end. Thank you so much for watching. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe and hit that little bell icon to turn notifications on. That way you'll see all my new 